Welcome back everyone and you are watching CS by MFSO and we discussed in the previous video uh, the introduction to the pre-release now I will be giving you the solution of task 1 and telling you how you can solve it uh, in a step by step procedure so calculating the parking price whenever you are given a task the top heading of the task the top heading of the task is the output that you need so this is this will be a variable the, this will be our output variable that we will name as parking price a customer inputs the day okay so now we are uh, looking at our variables that we have day the hour of arrival at what hour did he arrive excluding minutes the number of hours to leave their car so how many hours will they be staying in that parking plaza and a frequent parking number if available so this line this particular line has two meanings to it so once a user will be asked to input a private uh, a frequent parking number but before that he will be asked that if he has a frequent frequent parking number available that means there will be two variables one will enter a character um, either a yes or no or a string any string that will tell the computer that he has a frequent parking number not, or not because if he doesn't then he will not be uh, given a discount but if he has then he will be asked to enter his pin number and if it is correct then it will uh, give him a discount if the fre frequent parking number has an incorrect check digit then no discount can be applied so this is another variable that we will be using that is discount the park the price to park based on the day the hour of arrival and the number of hours of parking require, uh, required and any discount available is calculated and displayed so once a person has entered everything he will be given a display of what day it was and uh, what time he arrived and uh, how many hours did he park and his price without discount and his, or his price with discount so I have the code written right here I'm gonna run task 1 for all of you so you can get a better look First of all, I'll run the code and then I'll, I'll be explaining how it works. So, to see how it's working. So, uh, first of all, we will be asked to enter the day so 0 is Sunday, 1 is Monday, 2 is Tuesday so I'm, say, I'm gonna say that I have to I'm coming on Tuesday so I'm gonna enter 2 so enter the par time of arrival these are all the messages that I included in my code no parking from 12 till 7 so I came at 9 o'clock enter the parking hours Sunday is 8 hours Saturday is 4 hours and uh, other days are two hours so I came on a Tuesday so I can stay for maximum two hours so I'm gonna stay for two hours so this is what it's calculating day Tuesday time of arrival 9 and time of departure 11 so if I arrived at 9 o'clock and then I left two hours after so it is giving me the departure time and then it is giving me the price without discount that is $20 and then it is asking me if I have a frequent parking number available so first we need to understand this section of the code first of all we declare all our variables and uh, because this is a maximum stay in hours and uh, price per hours and day of the week seem to be a collection of their own so we can declare them as arrays so what I've done first is that I have taken uh, three arrays and I have initialized them the first name is day and it has seven elements from 0 till 6 0th element yeah 0th index being Sunday and 6th index being Saturday and then uh, we have duration and we have uh, similarly we have seven days so we have seven durations so on Sunday I can park for eight hours maximum on Monday I have two hours Tuesday 2 hours, Wednesday 2 hours, Thursday 2 hours, Friday 2 hours and Saturday 4 hours and then this is the price per hour that I have to pay uh, on the following days on Sunday I have to pay $2 Monday till Friday I have to pay $10 for 1 hour and on Saturday I have to pay $3 for 1 hour 
then the next step is we have to declare some variables these are these are the variables that i will be using the user day arrival hour departure hour parking duration how long will he park and uh, frequent parking number this is the variable that i will be using and another variable that i will be using is discount in this task and uh, we i will also be using has frequent parking number in this variable you can check the data types of these variables uh, the code will be shared with you but our task one is to calculate the price so task one starts from here first we have to input the day of the week so this is a message is asking a user to enter the day and it will it is inside a repeat loop and the repeat loop will work a repeat loop repeat, uh, repeats itself uh, until a condition becomes true so where till the condition is false it will keep on repeating so in order for this loop to end the day, user day that the user will input here needs to be greater than or equal to 0 because 0 is Sunday and needs to be less than or equal to 6 because 6 is Saturday so it should be between these two values then uh, the next uh, the next task is we have to calculate the user has to input his hour of arrival so this is another repeat loop that will keep asking the user to enter what time he arrived until he tells the until he inputs the hour that is greater than or equal to 8 or the arrival hour that is less than 24 so he should be there before 24 because after midnight the parking will be, will be closed and it will be closed till seven, uh, till 8 o'clock so the parking will be opened at 8 so 8 should be an accepted value so it should be greater than or equal to 8 but 24 is not an accepted value so the last value will be 23 so it should be less than 24 the next task in task 1 is to calculate or to see the duration of parking of the user so user will be asked uh, with appropriate message prompts to input how many hours will he like to park here uh, I'm also calculating the departure hour so if he's uh, coming at 9 o'clock his arrival hour is 9 o'clock and he is staying for two hours then his user departure hour will become 11 o'clock so what uh, the condition is that the parking duration should be less than or equal to duration of that day so this user day is the variable in which I was uh, putting the number of the day which day it was so if it, it was if, it's, if this is zero if this user day is zero then the day will be Sunday so the duration for Sunday I have already given in the array is eight hours so if I'm talking about Sunday particularly The user day should be less than or uh, the parking duration that I am parking my car for that I will be inputting here should be less than or equal to the duration of that day that is 8 hours or so either one of these conditions needs to be true in order for this loop to end user arrival hour should be before 4 o'clock because if he is uh, arriving before 4 o'clock then he will be charged price per hour but if he is uh, arriving after 4 o'clock then he will be charged only two dollars so this is the condition and his departure hour should be before midnight so moving on with the video now because we knew that the constant price after midnight was two dollars so we can initialize the parking price variable as two and we can change this variable if the user arrived before 4 o'clock 16 is 4 right so if he arrived before 16 then parking price will be equal to price of that day the, which the user input say multiplied by parking duration so if the price for Sunday is two dollars and I was parking for five hours so what will happen is that two multiply by 